Hey everybody, this is Doc Mack from the Galloping Ghost Arcade out in Brookfield, Illinois. Today is Monday, December 23rd, 2019, and we are here with yet another Monday mystery game. This time, number 747 going on the arcade floor. Absolutely ridiculous. Last week, we put up Arctic Thunder, released from Midway back in 2001. So great to have that back on the arcade floor. Uh, we've seen so many people on it, playing it, having fun. No snow out here, it's Chicago in December, no snow. I'm quite all right with that, but it is in Dar Arctic Thunder. That fan blowing on you, that rumble seat, everybody seems to be digging that a lot. Last week, the 10X Championship continued. In first place for Arctic Thunder was our very own Maurice Smith getting three points. Very impressive, very impressive. Followed by Masi Zagopian getting two points. And in third place, Jamie Tibbetts getting one point. Making your overall 10X championship standings as Maurice is in first place with 11 points, which is huge. Out of nowhere, Maurice coming on strong. He wants that belt. He wants the gold. Followed by Pete Gores with nine points. And also Chris Plackey with six points. He won those by taking both first place games at the reset he put two games on the floor he took both of them getting those six points so chris Plackey, i haven't seen Plackey, i haven't seen him here in a few in a little bit but i'm sure he's going to be gunning for that 10x championship belt um we have also continuing with our arcade wars magic sword is uh, we won magic sword in november which was huge this month's game is alien versus predator so far Bulldog has put up a score, and Ed has put up a score. So everybody needs to be putting in scores on Alien vs. Predator. Amazing beat-em-up game released from Capcom. A personal favorite. I've seen so many people put in, play that game and have so much fun on it. Make sure you're putting in scores because we want to win. This will be, we're going for three in a row. This will be a, three, a third in a row if we're able to take Alien vs. Predator. And I know we got some great beat-em-up players. So we got to call, I want James White to be put, Jimbo Slice to put up a score. We need Fat Chris to come on in. He's he's a monster at beat him up. So, we'll see, we'll see. But if everybody can go put in a score on Alien versus Predator, come report it to us, and then that score gets averaged out and goes in the competition against the one up. Those guys out in they're in Australia, out in Brisbane. Those guys are ridiculously good at games, and it's always a struggle. We've we've got two in a row. Let's see if we can't make it three in a row. Appreciate everybody that puts in scores for that. Uh, as we had mentioned before the start of the official stream, we're currently not streaming on Facebook because we are now a Twitch affiliate. So if you're watching on Twitch, as everybody must be, uh, we appreciate you for being here. Uh, again, we're going to be doing some really cool stuff with the affiliate as we go up to our partnership. Uh, we got to make sure that we're streaming in certain times and uh, I really appreciate everybody tuning in and uh, helping us reach the affiliate status and uh, everybody that has helped us got here. We're going we're gonna to give something back and details on that to follow soon. But everybody that shows up for the Early Bird crew, we really appreciate you. And uh, hope you continue to join us for Monday Mystery Game. Uh, speaking of being appreciative, I, I have to say thank you so much to Fat Chris, who has just been so amazing to... Myself and everybody in the community is always sending pizzas and looking out for us and helping us with things and traveling in from out of state. And uh, he sent some a, a box of Christmas gifts for me and the guys and my girlfriend. So, he, Fat Chris, thank you so much. A true pillar of the community and uh, truly amazing and very much appreciative of uh, what you do for us and, and everybody that's joining us for Monday Ministry. So thank you, Fat Chris. Merry Christmas. Um, another huge thanks to Kenneth Spock, who has uh, sent me and Pete. He sent me uh, this Led Zeppelin coffee mug. I'm a crazy Led Zeppelin fan. In fact, Chris sending me this ridiculously awesome Led Zeppelin T-shirt. So thank you guys for that. Thank you so much. P Pete, should I show yours? Ken sent uh, Pete this Space Invaders heat changing mug as well. So cool. Thank you so much for that. So much for that. We're, we're so 
honored to be able to do what we do and uh, just bring video games and arcade games to you guys and everybody that's joining us. So Merry Christmas to everybody. So appreciative for uh, everything that everybody has done for us and continues to help us grow. And the support is very unbelievably appreciated. So thank you. Happy holidays to everybody. Merry Christmas. And we will continue to do what we do with Monday Mystery and everything else. So thank you all for that. Uh, you know, huge congratulations goes out to Jeremy Fox of Prince Arcades, who celebrated his one-year anniversary yesterday. Jimbo Slice was out there. Santa Claus was out there. So many of the industry people that uh, have hung out here were out there. Jeff Lee was there. Paul Niemeyer was out there. Um, Jack Hager made it out there. So awesome. So cool to see so many other arcade owners as well. It's such a swing from how our arcades used to be where it was so cutthroat and everybody was on their own and so cool to see trick man terry out there and uh jason headland from the yeti arcade and everybody was out there so cool and again congratulations jeremy fox for one year doing an amazing job so happy that it's going well for him and uh looking around his selection of games uh, just top drawer very that Starblade, really awesome. Rampage, Mortal Kombat, everything playing really good. Robotron was awesome. His Williams lineup, Sinistar, and both jousts, very, very cool. So make sure you check out Prince Arcades. He's out in uh, Bolingbrook, in the Bolingbrook Promenade. And so make sure also that you check him out on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. He posts every day. So make sure you're checking that out. <laughs> He posts a few times every day. It's awesome. So a lot of great content. Make sure you check out Jeremy Fox, Prince Arcades in Bolingbrook. And congratulations again to him for his first year. First of many. So check it out. Uh, we have to announce T20. It is official. The dates, August 7th, 8th, and 9th. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It is right before. It's T20, our tournament in 20 games. You can... You can count on that. Those dates are firm. We haven't made the post yet, but those dates are solid. It's tournament in 20 games. We get so many people coming in from out of state, out of town, out of state. We love having everybody in. It's a great weekend, a lot of fun. We got some big surprises this year because it's uh, coming up on our big 10-year anniversary, and we don't want to slow down. We, we want to really flex up and show that we're just – You've got a lot left to see. We've got 700, going to be 747 games on the floor, but we're going to be showing off some ridiculous stuff, stuff that you don't know even exists. And it's 10 years you think, oh, maybe they're going to get tired and lackluster. No, no, no. Expansions, more games, better stuff, exclusive things. It's going to be un an unbelievable year. So. If you can join us for this T20, that whole week, really, August 7th, 8th, and 9th, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then on the 10th, you've got that Monday mystery, which it's going to be a crazy game. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I've got some ideas. And our 10th year anniversary game for the Monday mystery is going to be ridiculous. Then, uh, what is that, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is the 13th. That's our new that's the anniversary, 10-year anniversary Expect, uh, well, Gamer of the Year will happen, of course. Uh, maybe some other surprises. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But it will not be uneventful. Then that Saturday, the 15th, we're planning something big. The biggest Galloping Ghost event to date. Expect a lot of industry celebrities, a lot of cool stuff. So 7th through the 15th, Galloping Ghost 10-year anniversary week. It's going to be unheard of. So make sure... Be here. Don't miss it. You're going to regret not being here. Uh, last week, we had an awesome podcast with none other than the master tech from uh, Galloping Ghost Pinball, Ken Walker, who joined us on his birthday, no less. And great podcast. Pete's going to post a link to that podcast. So great talking to Ken Walker, sharing stories about how he got into pinball and uh, his time with Galloping Ghost and everything related to pinball. So make sure you check that out. Great podcast. We're definitely going to be having Ken back on sooner than later. Uh, not sure exactly when, but uh, make sure you check that out. Let us know what you think of the podcasts. We've had so many great people on. 
Ken, Jeremy Fox, we've had uh, Scott Lambert, we've had uh, Paul Niemeyer, we've had Matt Walters. So we're going to keep rolling with those. Make sure you catch them out. There you go. Cause 1973 saying, Ken the Legend Walker. There you go. So make sure you check that out. Uh, also, we've been mentioning this, this online auction coming soon of uh, all the PCB boards. We've been getting so many messages about people asking uh, that they've seen all those boards and they know they're for sale and do we have a list? I, I really, I don't have a list, unfortunately, but we will be doing an online auction very soon. Stay tuned to Facebook. Uh, join the Galloping Ghost Productions group page or the arcade page and uh, we'll be making a post in there as to when, what day the first of several Galloping Ghost online auctions will be taking place. It's going to be some awesome stuff. Like the stuff we've got duplicates of is just unbelievable. Like so we want to get those out circulating about hopefully to other arcades, private collectors as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, we've had a lot of people asking about holiday hours. No, they're always the same. 11 a.m. to 2 a.m., seven days a week, every holiday. We have not missed a day since we opened uh, nine plus years ago. So we're going to be here. Christmas Day, it's regular hours, 11 a.m. to 2 a.m. But what if it's snowing? Nobody cares. Be here. We're here. Parking lot's open, 11 a.m., 2 a.m., Games will be on. People will be here. So come join us. And uh, even, even Christmas, we will be here, 11 a.m. to 2 a.m. Uh, if you're shopping for Christmas, just a reminder, we've got a ton of Galloping Ghost merchandise, hats, T-shirts, keychains. We've got tons of uh, day passes for both the arcade and Galloping Ghost pinball, uh, memberships for Galloping Ghost Gamma, uh, I guess we could probably even have gift cards for the Galloping Ghost Garage, our mechanic shop. Of course, Galloping Ghost Reproductions. So make sure you check out all those things. If you know somebody that's into uh, video games, arcade games, or any of that Galloping Ghost stuff, we've got some great merchandise as well from a lot of the industry people. Jack Hagar, Brian Colin, Paul Niemeyer, Jeff Lee, Philip Ahn, the M a lot of the MK guys, Darren Piscina, Rich Divizio, John Parrish. Uh, so many to list. So come on, check out our front counter, and uh, or give us a call. We'll send you pictures or whatever of uh, stuff from the uh, front counter. Make sure it's good good time to get some Christmas gifts. So check it out. But now, before my voice goes completely out, I think it is time to summon forth former gamer of the year to help with today's unveiling of the Monday Mystery Game. And ask the question, Pete, how was the weekend? Oh, thanks. Uh, weekend was great. Uh, it was uh, my birthday over the weekend, and uh, it was a great one. So thank you, everyone, for all the birthday wishes, wishes everyone gave me on Facebook. Um, so I was off Sunday celebrating that, but uh, Saturday uh, was great at the arcade. It was great seeing everyone. Uh, we had a ton of out-of-town visitors. I think a lot of people are traveling, so uh, we do appreciate you bringing your family and friends out here. That's very much appreciated. And I uh, also want to say uh, congrats to uh, Doc and crew for getting uh, Twitch affiliate status. So um, if, if, not, if, if uh, I just want to give two, two seconds. If you, could, if, you could, uh, if you have Amazon Prime and you don't know how Twitch Prime works, um, you sign, sign in to your uh, Twitch, or I'm sorry, your, your Amazon account and look up your Amazon Prime Twitch benefit. You can actually use that to support us. Um, it's free to use um, if, if you uh, don't already use it on someone else. But uh, basically, that would help us out very much in getting our Twitch partnership. So uh, we really appreciate that and uh, look for emotes and more content coming soon. Thank you, Pete. Yeah, I'm excited as the Twitch thing is going to be awesome, I think. So I appreciate the help with that. I, again, I, happy, birth, happy belated birthday. Very awesome. Hopefully, uh, again, how cool is it that, again, Fat Chris, or, uh, Kenneth sent us this? Thank you very much, Ken. Awesome. So without further ado, your Monday mystery game. I got to watch this cable, too. 
It is. You can feel the anticipation. What is it? What is it? What is it? It is JJ Squawkers. No, no, no. You're not supposed to have ever heard of this one. JJ Squawkers. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a little bit about JJ Squawkers. Picture released from Athena back in 1993, 1992, in that time frame. It's a little bit like if you played Cuphead, which is, uh, everybody knows Cuphead, super popular action platformer. This game, so awesome, and 20 years earlier than Cuphead. So who, who are we having play this for? Do you want to, Sean? Let's have Sean up. Sean hasn't been here in a while, so let's bring him up. Have you ever played J.J. Squawkers? No, I have not heard of it until today, but I am excited. It is very, very rare board. So me and Brandon, let me credit you up there. This game is visually so awesome. Play mechanic, it's a tough game. Let me, let me tell you, it is a tough, tough, tough game. You are... Oh! You get two hits per life. Super, super rare board. It is. It is rough. It is so rough. Things coming at you from every angle. Flying squirrels and... It is going to be ridiculous. A very fun, animated, high animation game. They're tough. They're they're just brutal. It's you don't get much health. What what'd you think? Love the game. Love the animations. It was fun. The flying squirrels were a tough part though, but uh, I could definitely see it being addictive once I practice more. It was a good game. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for being here. Who's up next? You coming in? What's your name? My name is Marco Cologne. What, what is it? Marco Cologne. Marco, good luck. Monday Mystery Game, JJ Squawkers, released from Athena back in 1992. So, I saw this game, and the, the title is just ridiculous. JJ Squawkers. How is that going to be a good game? But wait, it really is. If you like action platformers, it is really awesome. Visually, wait till you see like the first mid-boss, and you'll go like, oh, wow, yeah, I see a, I see a lot of... Cuphead animation in this. Now this guy, he's, he's... Oh! He's shaking that tree, knocking down those spike balls. It's... It's... <laughs> Tough, yeah? yeah. That is very tough. It's it's really tough, you know. It's with the only two hit lives, and, and there's not a lot of uh, health that you get in this game. And it's very it's very interesting. But I feel like if I get more practice in this game, I feel like I'll be better at it. All right. Yeah, I like it a lot. Awesome, awesome. What's that? Only two lives, two blocks of hell. Who's who's taking this? It's a. a Bulldog is stepping up. Bulldog, have you played JJ Squawkers? No, I haven't. Have you heard of JJ Squawkers? Maybe a long time ago. It's extremely rare board. So, back maybe five years ago, this board was on eBay. And it was like, ah, should we get JJ Squawkers? It looks colorful, it looks bright, it looks fun. Should we get it? And it was kind of like, eh, it's maybe, I don't know, it's, eh, it's, it was like $80 at the time. And it's like, eh, we'll pass on it. We'll get it later. We'll get it later. And then shortly after, it was gone. What? Waffles is next? Oh. You know, huge shout out to Al Anonymous. Thank you for subscribing to our Twitch. Just got our affiliate, so that is very much appreciated. Thank you for doing that. 
Again, new to a Twitch affiliate. And, you know, I have to give a, a huge thanks to Tommy Waffles and GGA Jeremiah and Shady for uh, pushing uh, Ghost Battle Series on Thursdays, our Mortal Kombat 11 tournament uh, that happens down at Productions. Those guys are streaming every week, running a great show. Huge shout-outs to Prestige. Thank you so much for subscribing. Very, very much appreciated. It's our, our, what day did we get? Was it Thursday? Thursday we launched as a Twitch affiliate. So our, this is our first Monday mystery. So everybody that gets in on the ground floor. Hold on, what'd you think? Tough. I would, yes, I would use another word for it, but I'm not going to mention it online. All right, all right. What? First stage, first try? What? Waffles? Waffles? You know, Saturday night, Waffles was saying a lot about MK9. He's saying, I've got an idea. I know who I can beat. We won't get into that, though. We won't get into that. We won't name names. Hannah R. Lewis, thank you for joining us. Your Monday mystery game is JJ Squawkers released from Athena back in 1992. Waffles, come on, man. Waffles, no. He's got another life. He's still going. He's still going. So as continuing my story of JJ Squawkers, the board disappeared for next to nothing on eBay years and years and years ago. Would not be seen for years and years and years. We were looking for it because it was always kind of in the back of my head like, oh, man, I wish we got that one because that seemed pretty good. Looked at it a little bit more. The animation really seemed really fun and uh, the game looked challenging. And we've got so many great players here. we got Jeff Lucas. We've got Pete Gores. we got Jamie Tibbetts and Matt Walters and Jimbo Slice and Mozzie Hagopian. How many great players are here. We need something that really challenges them. And this, I think, will challenge many. So, in not getting the game, the game kind of developed a collector following. Now you'll see the board go for $4,000. Unbelievable. I board just went on e on uh, on auction in Japan for four grand. You can't find them. There's bootlegs out there. We accidentally bought a bootleg board as well. And it's like, we're not putting bootleg boards on the arcade floor. So no bootleg boards going on the arcade floor. There is a conversion board. Those have been popping up. I think Pete probably just turned down the... the yeah, there are definitely more bootlegs than real copies of this game out there. But such a fun game. We got a conversion that didn't work. And then it was just kind of like, okay, well, we got to get this game out here. Regardless, so it's here now. So we got it. So difficult to get this game up and running. Waffles finding some of these power-ups. Inching along. There's the first boss. What's he going to do? He lands. Waffles. He's uh, been known his top his top accolade. What well, uh what what game was that? Who did he beat uh, Phil Pops in and as his top accolade? Is it Modern Warfare 2? I think he made a a championship belt for it. But Tom Tommy Waffles, no joke in video games. One of the top premier Dark Presence players in the world. Oh! He promised us a level one clear. So close, 10,970, very impressive. Tommy Waffles playing JJ Squawkers, your Monday mystery game, number 747.